What's in my beauty bag? Find out next. you are doing well this video is a tag and it's the tag what's in my beauty bag I was tagged by Miss Esmoka 25 and we are I guess subscribed to each other's channels and there's just some people that word subscriber is funny to me because there's some people you just you talk to on a regular basis so it's like to call them mm, subscriber just it's just odd to me like we are quickly becoming really great girlfriends on here um, so definitely go check her out, smoga 25 and I mean, there's a couple other people that I, I really kind of feel like just a bond to, Meg, hey Meg, you know, Grace Danielle is bored, um, people that kind of, you know, send you messages, you watch each other's videos, they give you positive feedback and encouragement to me or just are much more than subscribers. They're like, you know, my partners in crime. So here is my beauty bag. This is the bag I carry in my purse. Um, it's a Clinique bag. You can't really tell because I'll get close. But maybe you can tell. It's from Clinique. And it was one of those bags that you get with gift for purchase. And I'm surprised it has stayed this fresh and so clean. So let's open the bag and jump right to it. So I'm zippering the bag. And there's another little bag in here as well. I guess I will do that bag second. We'll go through the main compartment. I have ibuprofen 24 tablets of ibuprofen because headaches can come up at any time and you might need something for it. So I have that in my bag. I have a flawless face brush from Bare Minerals to apply to apply powder, which I'm sure is in this bag. Um, I always keep the lip gloss that I'm wearing for that day in my makeup bag. So the last lip gloss I wore was from Maybelline Plum Luster. Love this shade. Love this gloss. Y'all already know. I will swatch it for you just in case. And I've been going through this plum thing. So you can see it. And if it's a plum shade, I've got to have you. I don't know what's going on, but yeah. Loving the plum. So plum luster. Chewing gum because who doesn't like fresh breath? I like fresh breath. I'm a fan. I have two hand sanitizers because... I'm a mom and also I mean, you like germs you might have to touch something icky and me being that I'm a mom it's so important to keep this on me I have it in citrus crush it's from Bath and Body Works and I'm running low but don't worry I have a ton more of this stuff and then this is a antibacterial moisturizing hand lotion in fresh market apple smell it Smells really nice and apple -y. Let's go ahead and kill some germs right now, shall we? Yep, love it. Smells nice, fresh, country apple-ish. I also have in my bag the Bosha Lavender Blotting Sheets. So I can blot, but normally I'll keep the Mally on me, but I keep these in there too because I am breezy and oily. Not a cute look. I have a pretty pink pen. I don't know why that's in there. It's funny how huh? you go through your bag and some of the random stuff. I have bobby pins and a hair tie because I'm wearing my hair down. It gets too hot. It's in my face. It's bothering me. It's great to have the resources just to kind of throw it up. I have another pen. I don't know what's up with me in the pens, but it's a pen from the Marriott Hotel. Hey. <laughs> so another pen. I have my sugar-free Altoids, cinnamon Altoids, which I absolutely love these. Um, 
I can't eat just one like Lay's potato chips. Like I have to have like two. In fact, I gotta have one right now. I just love these things. Yeah, but I could eat these Altoids like candy. And I love how small they are. And they're freaking delicious. So Altoids, ping. It is a tampon because let's face it guys, mother nature is cruel and if she catches you slipping, she's gonna be even crueler. So always come prepared. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the small bag or the mini bag that was in the big bag. Let's open this bad boy up. I have Makeup Forever powder in shade 209 that's my shade dior attic ultra gloss reflect in shade 777 let me see if it has a name no just 777 looks like this hopefully you can see again another pretty kind of plum glittery shade i'll swatch it actually it's coming up kind of brown a lot of glitter Hopefully you can see that. Always good to check to make sure your gloss is still fresh, and it is. But yeah, shade 777. It's pretty. Okay. Let me get up closer. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, I also have black honey i think this is like the almost the almost lipstick i forgot what part of the line this yes the almost lipstick from clinique and black honey which is one of their most popular shades and it's funny because i remember the first time seeing this i was like who in the heck wears that color on their lips because uh-uh because it looks like just straight up black and purple but when it's swatched, it really does look really pretty. Let me see. There it is. Can you see it? I will rub it again. And it really gives you a sheer wash of color. But they really, there it is right there. They really did make it pretty intimidating when you look at it. Because you're just thinking, uh, no thanks. I'll pass. But it's really pretty. And I know it's been in their line for quite a long time. Okay, another lip gloss. I have a lot of lip glosses. It might be time for me to kind of refresh this. But this is from Bath & Body Works. It is the Liplicious Tasty Lip Color in Pink Grapefruit. And it is a pink grapefruit shade. And I went through a phase with these where like, I absolutely like love them. And I still do. It really does smell like pink grapefruit. And they taste really good. So if you have a daughter that's in that range where you're letting her kind of wear a little bit of lip gloss, I think this is a fun lip gloss to wear. But be careful because some of them do have color to them. But they have flavor. And who doesn't like flavor? You need some flavor in the life. So this is right here. It's like a really baby, frosty pink. And it smells just like grapefruit. Last but not least, I have a Bare Minerals Lip Gloss in Birthday Cake. It looks like this. And I remember getting this. Um, it was in a double pack. I think it, I think that color was called Sprinkle or something. It was like a white, kind of shimmery, natural, frosty one. And I was at Ulta with my sister, and we both were looking at it, and, you know, we were saying, oh, well, I don't even like it. Well, I like this color. She liked the more natural shade. And so we're like, hey, well, you know, we'll get it, and we'll split it, and then it's kind of cute. You have one, I have one, because we're kind of pouring like that. And let me swatch the shade. That is gorgeous. I can't believe she didn't want this shade. And there it is right there, birthday cake. I don't know if they make this in a full size. It smells just like lipstick. Mm -hmm. I should check, but 
I really like this shade. So I feel like I lucked out, but I'm sure she feels like she lucked out on her shade too, but this is really, really pretty. Okay guys, that is everything in my beauty bag. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> So now I tag you, everyone that watches this video, what is in your makeup bag? I should probably stop waving that. What is in your makeup bag? Let me know. Leave it down below. Shoot a video response. Shoot a video. Very curious to know what's in your makeup bag. After going through mine, I will probably do some updating, kicking some things out, maybe leaving some things in. But I hope that you found this video fun. I don't know if it was really helpful, but I hope it was fun. It was definitely informative, huh? And please rate, comment, and subscribe. So much more coming from this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.